Ladies and gentlemen, it's early morning on what is a frustrating night. Um, today we're in the Chevy Bronco, or a frustrating day. I spent the better portion of two hours getting some missions done on recording and then realized that the audio was not working. <laughs> I need to get these audio issues straightened out, man. This is killing me. I'm telling you what, dude. Anyway... Uh, that was really frustrating, but here we are. So I finished two missions without you. The first one was the scout mission that we had going in the last one. I had to repair the International Scout. All I basically did for that one was drive my... Uh, I drove the big P-12 uh, truck up into the mountains where we had the Chevy Blazer. You guys remember from the last episode. And I, I just repaired the truck, and that was the end of that mission. I then drove my Chevy Blazer from the returning spot, which was here. This is where we returned our, uh, right here is where we returned all that. I then drove down from there to here and rescued the Tuz that was in the river and brought it back here. So basically that's all you've missed. Um, and then I drove back to the garage with both the trucks. So today I decided we'd do something a little different. We're taking out the, the Bronco again. This time I've kind of downgraded the Bronco to be more of a rock crawler slot style truck, not so much of a monster truck. Make it a little bit more or less cheaty, I guess. Um, the other thing I've done is I don't, it currently is only carrying 200 repair points and 100 fuel. So that's something that would be a little bit more realistic load for this truck, um, which is why you see no roof rack. We can just pretend like he's got it. It's in the pipe on the front, but we can pretend like he's got it in the back. All the regular attachments for this truck were, like, way super overpowered. So we're going to leave those. But our mission today is to take a trailer uh, up to a neighbor. They left the trailer. They moved their house up to the hills, up the mountains, and for some reason left their fuel trailer behind. They're asking if we could go get it. So that's where, that's where we're, at. we're going tonight, today, this morning. So I apologize for that missing episode, guys. Uh, once again, with those two missions completed, I was heartbroken when it happened, but there's nothing I can really do about it. I'm just like, well, I could put it up there, but there was some quiet parts like where I wasn't talking, and it was just like nothing happening. So I was like, well, I can't really release that. At some point in my life, the audio will be straightened on my channel, and we'll have less fluctuation. It's gotten better. Like, the last... Now that I'm home, it does drive some people crazy, but I'm, I'm getting to the point where the audio is getting pretty consistent along my videos again. So that's good news. <laughs> All right, so we're almost to the trailer. We're going to have to cross the river crossing, but when I was doing the Tuz mission, I did find a pretty decent crossing. Like, we shouldn't have too much trouble. It's really slippery here. I would love one of these trucks, man. Like a like a 70s or 80s, you know, Bronco or Chevy Blazer. Whoa, boing. I'll tell you what, I'm finding this with all of the mod trucks. I don't like the gearing. Like, the, the high, low plus is too fast. I wish they would uh, tone it back a little bit. This is not the only truck that's done that. There's several of the mod trucks that I tested out that their, their low plus is too fast. I don't really like that. I don't appreciate that. Uh, this is not the spot. It's a little further up. So I apologize again, folks, but there's nothing I can do. Tell you what, I like the way this truck is now. It's a lot more realistic feeling. It's not so overpowered that it's just like, oh, driving its way through everything. Taking a little damage along the way is probably a bit realistic, too. So 
Sweet. I've, <laughs> I've banged up my, uh, what do you call those, like the footsteps on the truck? What do you put that in? What do they call that? Like, that's not a chair rail. <laughs> the railing along the bottom of the truck. What is that called? Uh, the foot, like the foot, I don't know. All right, let's do this over again. By the way, I've done this whip mission once already, but it didn't, for whatever reason, it blew up at the end, so we're going to try again. I've reset it. Attach trailer. I used the fuel in the trailer, and I'm wondering if that messed the mission up. Usually it doesn't, but I'm thinking maybe in this case it did. So what we're going to do now is cross back across the river and then head uh, to the nearest way up to where we're going. We'll take a look and see what we got available. So we get back across and down by the industry there. I hate these trailers. This thing's like such an anchor, boat anchor. You know, I wonder, now nah, they wouldn't have replaced that with a mod. I wonder if it's a mod conflict that's causing this, tra this problem that I'm having, we'll see. If I can't deliver it again, I'm going to have to look into see and try to figure out what's going on. That trailer has a weird texture to it that I don't remember it having. Do you guys remember the Scout trailer having that weird, like, it has like almost like a diamond. you see what I'm talking about? Like, it's got like a diamond pattern in it on this side. And that's, I don't remember it having that. Hmm. See what I'm talking about? Oh, my gosh. Hold on. All right. Do we need some diff lockers. There we go. You thought this mission was going to be fun, but I knew it was going to be a nightmare. So the other two missions went fairly smoothly. Let's see how this one goes. I'm a little concerned because I know we got, a, we got a long way to go. We have to basically get up a mountain um, with this stupid trailer. And that's going to slow us down. Say, Arthur, why are you in low gear? Because I feel like that's the best speed while, as we're trailering this through this crazy mountain, mountainous pass. Foot rail? Is that what that's called? Dang it. Sideboard? Side rest? Armrest? I'm butchering this. It's bad. Okay, so show me that it's up there. We'll get out of this mud here, and then I'm going to look and see exactly where it is we're supposed to go. Come on, Chucky. Monsieur. Monsieur Bronco? Qu'est-ce que c'est, Bronco? Okay, so it looks like we're going to go back behind this plant up to the sawmill. And then somehow up here to where this goes. Is there? So we go through here. Up there, and then up there. Okay. That's not too bad. Looks easy. Simples. This is looking a little mucky. I think they call them sideboards, is that? 
Honestly, probably better just to leave those things off, you know. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here's where the cheaty monster truck tires would have gotten us going a lot faster, but this is going to take a while. <laughs> I mean, suppose we could try to throw a winch. Yeah, that'll work. There's a winch that makes sense. Why wouldn't you just do that in the first place? It's like a lizard's tongue. I suppose for the flow of the video, it makes things a little smoother, but it's not quite as realistic as I'd like it to be. There we go. Looks like we're getting out of that deep snow. Starting to get some traction here. And we're going to need some gas. Dang. It's a good thing I got uh, a front pipe full of gas. <laughs> Tanks in the back. Oh, boy. <laughs> Yikes. Wow, what a spectacular view, though. Well, we're not dead. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh Try this again. Rock it back and forwards. Wow, with did flag on. Oh. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Forwards! Jerk it! Oh, yeah, there we go. That'll work. Oh, brother. Oh, that looks messy. Let's stay up here. Stay away. <laughs> Don't go in the mud. With these trailers, man, that's a death sentence right there. Because you just suck right in. Okay, so we're past this. Wait, where the heck are we? Oh, that's the first stop. Okay, so now we're going to go up into the sawmill. Let's see there's water up there, too. That's not happy news. But whatever. Smooth sailing through here. Not too bad. Uh-oh. Uh, we're going to go this way.
This is all a bog, man. Okay, stay off. Look at look at all the water there. That's a deadly area. Suck zone. Should probably have the diff lock off at higher speeds. Yes, I know in real life, you really would have to stop and lock the diffs. Even if you don't have to get out and lock them, you still have to stop and lock them. Like my Jimmy had, had diff locks, but you, you just had to, you put the car in neutral and then you put the drivetrain in neutral and then you'd shift into four wheel low. Come on, you could do this little trailer, little truck, not trailer. Uh-oh, severe winter weather advisory from Friday at 7 a.m. until 1 p.m., National Weather Service. So New Year's Day, we get some snow. This probably will not get released until tomorrow or the next day, though. So it'll be already Happy New Year's. So if I didn't get to wish you Happy New Year's, Happy New Year's, everybody. Come on. Okay, yes. Yes, we did it. Okay, so now the next thing that we need to do is there's, there's a, hang on one second, folks. I just remembered a phone call I had to make. <laughs> it was very important. Okay, uh, we are going to go down to the abandoned truck mission, which apparently is directly behind us. So we're going to go up over this hill. And we're going to complete this mission. Just going to start the mission. We're going to ploppy our way through the muck. Yep, keep that on. Ati tongue. Okay, head up. Oop. Get up the mountain. These bushes are causing small trouble. Look at that beautiful peak as we crest these monstrous hills. Uh-oh. Oh. You thought it was a shortcut. Uh. Well, there's a house back here, though. I don't know. There must be a road into here. I can't. It's probably this. It's probably this right here. But we missed that. All right, but that's okay. We got here too. There's an abandoned truck mission here, apparently, and we're gonna take a look. See. Yeah, there's the mission. The mission wash. I'm home. Oh, a Lodestar. Look at that. Hello, Wanderer. I have recently moved to the fr from the frosty top of the hill to closer to the water. I had nothing to tow my old broken truck here. Will you help? Show task. Deliver the Lodestar to the house in the valley. Hello, Star. <laughs> I'm so funny. Did you guys think that was funny? Because I did. <laughs> Hello, Star. <laughs> Get it? Okay, so we're, <laughs> we're going to pull this. Sorry. 
I don't. I'm not going to refuel it. I don't. I got barely enough for. Oh no. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How much is left? Nope. <clears throat> How much fetal? Nine. Well, there you go. I'll give you five. No, actually, he needs more. He's going to burn that up in like two minutes. Uh, we're going to add fuel refuel. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. There. Have nine gallons of fuel. In real life, that would get you pretty far. Where are we delivering this bad boy? Oh, man. Okay, well. It looks like this is our road down over here. So let's do it. There's the road over there. Well, this is a little deeper than it looked. That's cool. I like pulling trucks. That's kind of it's kind of fun to be able to do that. Pulling this load star. Load star rescue. Until this runs out of gas, this should be easier to tow than the trailer, but once it runs out of gas, <laughs> good lord, that thing sucks fuel. That was nine liters. What? Like literally two seconds. It's not actually not too bad, though. He's pulling along nicely, so. Star never was very efficient. And we're just going to let it ride down the hill. Okay. I'd appreciate you not shoving me down the mountain. Fine. Have it your way. Get off my tire! <laughs> Quit touching me. Okay, uh, we've come down the mountain and we're going that to the left if we can. say the truck had to be in perfect condition when I delivered it, did you? Because oopsie! That's because your back pilot's not very good. It's not my problem. Oh no. The bog again. Okay, where are we going to go? Boggy Creek creature. We need to go up. I'm going to go up and over this way and then around and try to cut as much off of the bog as I can. But we are going to have to cut through it at some point over here. Oh, the same place we were before. Look at that. Oh, no. Come on. Hey, Mr. Bronco. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't know which is worse, the snow or the mud. Right here, it's good. We got some traction right there. Try to stay on the edge here. Fix that running board when we get home. Bye bye, tree.
Quit touching my butt. I told you. Stop it. I don't like that. You jack donkey. Oh, stop. <laughs> oh. Oh, hey, good job. <laughs> that's right. That's just, that is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Stupid truck. Okay, well. I, I don't know why you're going down the hill because I'm not ready yet. He took a little tumble off the cliff. Like the some of the worst lines from the Lord of the Rings. Not the bed. <sighs> I'll tell you what, still better, still better than Episode One from Star Wars, but not much. I no, the Lord of the Rings movies were good. I, the Hobbit ones are the ones I actually was really looking forward to the Hobbit because they had some extra stuff in it, and I ended up falling asleep in the theater, which I never do. I fall asleep during the Hobbit. I watched the second one. There was the scene where they all tumbled down like they were having a massive battle with the Troll King or the Goblin King in the in the caves on the falling bridge like they were battling while the bridge was falling. I'm like, okay, I'm... There's such a thing as subtlety, and I don't know that this generation gets that. Because they're so used to superhero movies where everything has to be exploding all the time. That filmmakers like feel like they have to pander to that. So they take... They just make obscene decisions when it comes to filmmaking. And they just go... They're like, hey, we should blow that up. And they should float across the river while exploding. And riding down a bridge and fighting a dragon while... Flying a jet into a helicopter. You know, it's just like, okay, can we just have some... I don't know how to get over there, and I've never been over there before. This is not looking promising. Uh, it looks kind of like this could be a road off to the left that goes across. So I guess we'll take it. But before we do that, let's do this real quick. I just want to... I'm going to help us out a little bit. Uh, where's my P12? There it is. Looking at the map. Where am I going? I'm going the right way. Okay. My horn is so loud that I blew that fence down. Did you guys <laughs> get see the fence go down? Yay. All right. Literally, me so. Never mind. Okay, stop. I'll stop. I promise. <laughs> All right, so we're going to pull in here. Refuel. Yep. Hold on. And we're going to uh, refuel. We're going to put our load. S sounds wrong. Uh, into the pipe. Nope, I can't. I need to go the other way. I don't know why I just did that. I could have just... Whatever. All right. But, yeah. So we're going to refuel again. And now can we target the Lodestar? No. Okay, so we're going to... So we're going to repair the Bronco.
So we're going to repair this. Really? Well. Truck's in much better shape than when you brought it to us. Sorry about your grill, but Merry Christmas. You'll need to get that suspension fixed. Uh, we need to go here and there. Oh, and we even gave you a full tank of class. I mean, in in real life, that diesel, that that's 130 gallons of diesel. I mean, you're looking at probably 300 bucks, 250 bucks. I mean, that's some serious diesel. But that's what this truck is here for. That's what truck is for. He actually needs to go back to the garage because we need to refill his points. Oh, God, and fix those springs. So we shall return to the garage. Trans Canadian. Garage. There we go. So he's all set. Back to the old Bronco. We're going to attach a winch to our Lodestar. Oh. Yeah. That's what I wanted. I know we're going to be sorry we're doing this. I can tell already. Lodestar, you could kick in a little bit and help. Or not. That's all right. I'll just do all the work myself. That's okay. This is what it looks like outside my house right now. A little more snow on the ground. But we got flakes falling down and there's snow on the ground and it's real Christmas-like feeling because every Christmas is over. All right, there's that. These people gave up. So many people have given up their uh, homesteads, looks like. They just kind of all moved away. Like that. That was going to be a really nice house. Maybe they built it in a floodplain or something and realized it afterwards. I'm hoping and praying that this is a way across. We'll see. I'm not going to. We're going to drop the truck and kind of go forward and see what we get. So far, it's looking like a yes. Maybe. Well, it's less of a yes. It's more of a no. I'd say... It's a yes. Okay. Go slow. It's a little scary there, but it's it's crossable. So we're going to get the truck. <laughs> the problem with the 375 foot long winch Actually, though, when you think about it, honestly, a winch could be any length you want it to be because it's really 
you just pull, it, it depends on how much room you have on the spool, but it doesn't make it like any stronger or weaker to have a long winch. I mean, it's you can have a really long winch. You just have to have the spool to pull it back. That's the trick. Shoot, it's going to blow the motor on that truck. Well, it's back to where it was. <laughs> In a minute, that thing's going to go dead, and we're going to be poop out of water. Okay, almost, almost out. Okay, he's out. He's still running, but we're going to have to fix that truck now. Not a big deal. At least we got across the river safely. Tell you what, this has been quite a mission, and I liked it. I actually really enjoyed this mission. This was fun. And we're not on a part of the island that we haven't seen before, this island anyway. Let's go ahead and repair them. Load star. There goes almost all my repair points just for you. Now his truck's 100% repaired. Don't forget me when I'm gone. Well, my heart would break. I have told you for so far. It's all I can take. Yeah. Do, 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 do. It's that glass tiger with Brian Adams. Cameo from Brian. <laughs> Stars of the 80s. I don't want to go in the muck, but I don't want to get stuck in the woods either. <laughs> so how did you do this mission? Did you use a scout? You know, another Lodestar would have been fine for this, too. Once again, I'm saving my Lodestar for Af Africa. <laughs> do, 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 do. I'm saving my uh, Lodestar for Alaska. Because it seems like it's well-suited for that. And it actually does pretty well in the snow. Do, although there is snow on this map, too. I... I I uh, anyway, I have another American truck for Alaska too that we'll be using. We'll be using obviously. I always bring like two scouts in case one gets tuck. Uh, we're getting close. We need to go left and then right. Is there another mission there? Wow. Okay. Well, we'll pick that mission up in the next episode. But uh, this went well. So once again, sorry about the missing episode. I'm as sad as you are. Because I worked hard. I work hard on these episodes. Well, not super hard. I'm honestly just playing video games. But, but yeah, I have fun and work hard and, 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 you know, spend time that I could be doing other stuff doing this. And it makes me pretty bummed out when I spend an hour and a half working on something and then it just disappears. But it does happen. So, I mean, it's part of life. Come on. You're holding me back. They seem to like to do this on this map. I'm finding that the load, the drop-off zones are just like completely surrounded by by awful like obstacles. So like we got a mud pit with you know that the trucks getting stuck in, plus trees, plus you know logs, plus you know all the rocks everywhere and snow. It's like. We came all the way down the mountain in like 10 minutes, and then now it's going to take us 15 minutes to go three feet to the the end zone. And I'm an end zone. All right, we got him through. Ha <laughs> ha. 
That was more of a wee wee than I wanted. Uh oh, don't dump over. Okay, we're good. Oh my gosh, see what I'm talking about? Look at this bog. Like seriously, <laughs> come on. And it's gonna get worse. Oh, no, that was it. Okay, so there's no nothing. But we got this part of the island. We still have a bit of, of land left to explore. There's stuff up here that I haven't been to yet. Um, so at some point we need to just go and... It looks like there's more zones with empty stuff. I don't see any trucks. But there may well be. I don't know if they don't show... I haven't seen that yet where they have a truck hidden. I think once you, you, have, once you discover an area, then they show it, but... That was pretty good. So, ladies and gentlemen, the sun sets on another good day. We got another mission done. And now it's time to go out there and, I don't know, do something different. So, way to go, me. Way to go, you. Thank you for being part of the channel. Thumbs up always help. We'll see you on the next exciting episode of SnowRunner. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.